Hi, my name is Jim Bielenberg. I'm the CTO of the Rapid Advanced Manufacturing Institute, and I'm here today to interview Klaus Jensen. Klaus is the Warren K. Lewis Professor of Chemical Engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Klaus is a plenary speaker at the 2018 AICG Annual Meeting. We'll be giving the John Krausnitz Institute Lecture. The lecture will be titled, Accelerating Development and Intensification in Chemical Processes. So Klaus, thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you very much, Jim, for the honor. Well, we wanted to talk a little bit today, um, first start about the talk you'll be giving, um, just a little more about your thoughts around process intensification, process development. So, you know, process intensification, of course, is not a new topic for the field. It has been going on for quite a while. It's particularly been going on in the commodity chemicals and petrochemicals where you had long development times and large energy costs and Lots of drivers for driving intensification. What we've been particularly interested in is more than the fine chemicals and pharmaceutical industries, where you have very short development times and you have many different products. And so often you just make it and get, a, get on with it. And as a result of that, the processes are rarely intensified and they're not very green. And so thinking about how one can develop those processes with a greater sense for intensification. So within that space of process development, are there key aspects in it in terms of where it's where it's planned or steps that take place where you think there's the most uh, potential for improvement through intensification? So any uh, energetic process, um, you can get rid of solvents by essentially putting it in tubes and getting high heat transfer and mass transfer. Um, and uh, you can actually burn processes that you can't run in bad processes. Um, also, you can get a larger degree of integration. Uh, you may be able to build systems that will allow you quicker to go from development to actual production. In many cases, if you're making a specialty product, you don't know whether you're going to make 100 kilo or 5 tons of it. And so being able to have a very flexible manufacturing uh, is, is, is very useful. And early in the process, you know, there's all the business of getting kinetics, understanding your chemistry, and clearly having tools that will allow you to do that uh, becomes beneficial for the development process. And you, it was great that you mentioned chemical processing as a type of manufacturing. There's a great deal of interest in advanced manufacturing and um, data science, sensing and controls, and other areas. Do you see any future bright spots or key research areas in this area that you're really excited about? Well, so I will end on sort of what I call a, an outlook. Um, where we're looking at using, this is actually a DAPR sponsored program that is aimed at integrating extraction of prior chemical knowledge to plan the chemistry and then using automated tools to perform the chemistry. Now clearly we still need the person in the, in the center of this to curate what you come up with from the data um, and it needed to kind of prepare it for actually running it. And one of the challenges in using all these data binding techniques, of course, and machine learning and so on, is the quality of the data that's available to us. I think a lot of people think they have a lot of data available, um, but if you actually go and think whether well, it, it's often so heterogeneous and uh, varying quality that it becomes very difficult to extract useful information. Absolutely. Well, I know your group is really kind of at the forefront of doing work in this area and appreciate you taking the time to come and talk to us today. Anything else you want to leave our viewers with? Well, I think there are really wonderful opportunities for chemical engineering. Um, in chemical engineering, you know, when I started in chemical engineering, it was because it had this wonderful combination of transport phenomena and chemistry. And I think there are really opportunities for modern tools today to drive that and advance that. So um, it's been a pleasure to be here. Thanks, it's an exciting message. Thank you for coming today.